Oh yeah, so if you've been thinking to yourself, you know what would be awesome? If I actually had a button near my tank that I could just press to turn my skimmer off for 10 or 15 minutes so I could go dump out that skimmer cup and then come back with it instead of having to whip out my phone and then open the app and log in and then find the skimmer and then turn it off there or have to unplug it from my energy bar, then you're gonna love these. And there's also alarms. Aquarium controllers are incredible for a lot of reasons, but they do have one tiny little inconvenience attached to them. Most often, all actions are done through the controller's respective app on a smart device or through a web portal, which, don't get me wrong, absolutely works. But if I'm standing right in front of my tank and I just happen to leave my smartphone in another room or my smartphone died and it's charging, I'm kind of stuck there. Uh, just waiting for it to finish charging so I can get into the app or going to get it first or having to go to a computer to sit down and do it that way when all I want to do is turn off my skimmer for a few minutes so I can dump the cup out. You see how that's less convenient than it should be. Adaptive Reef's controller accessories are a great way to add a more tactile and convenient experience to your Neptune system's apex, while also adding redundancy through audible and visual alarms that can get your attention whether or not your phone is in your pocket. These accessory boxes are exactly what the aquarium controller scene has been missing, and naturally, Adaptive Reef has done what they do best and created some really slick looking add-ons that bring a whole new way for us to interact with and utilize our aquarium controllers. In each box, you'll find the Adaptive Reef controller accessory, as well as the cables, the instructions, and some adhesive Velcro mounting strips. There are currently three different controller accessories available, a six switch toggle box, a dual light status indicator, and an audible and visual alarm box. They all share the same compact five inch by three inch by one and three quarter inch acrylic boxes with an eight foot cable and heavy duty double-sided Velcro tape for mounting to your stand, wall, or controller board. The toggle box connects to your Apex's head unit using a mini DIN 8 port, while the dual light status indicator and alarm boxes connect to the 24 volt ports on your EB832, FMM, or one link modules. All three of these accessories are going to be useful in different situations, and this is certainly not a which one of these is best, and a lot more of a how can each one of these individually help to elevate my aquarium controller experience, and once you start looking at them individually, it starts to make a whole lot of sense. For example, the dual light status indicator is able to give you information on what is happening in your reef system at a quick glance. Both the red and the green LED lights have separate 24 volt cables and can be programmed individually. So not only can you have it switch between the red and the green to let you know the status of one particular piece of equipment, like for example, green means it's running and red means it's off, but you can also have them separately indicate the status of two individual pieces of gear by having either light being on or off respectively. Like if my doser is currently running, the red light is on, and when the doser stops running, the red light goes off. They're also great for acting as an indicator for reminders or active notifications, or even as a simple tank status indicator for tank sitters that are watching the tank while you're away. You can just tell them, hey, if the light's green, everything's good. If the light turns red, call me immediately. A few other simple examples for utilizing this accessory are the green LED is on when a particular feed mode is active and then turns off when that feed mode is finished. And then separately, the red LED can come on when the skimmer cup sensor is tripped, indicating the cup needs a cleaning and turns back off once the cup is cleaned. Now, the audio visual alarm is a great way to add a layer of redundancy to your system so that you have a primary alarm for any events that could be catastrophic for your reef tank. The last thing you want is your smartphone charging in another room or tucked away while you're busy at work and missing a notification from Fusion that a leak detector has come into contact with water. Having a loud alarm at the red light going off in your home can quickly draw attention to the aquarium and therefore to the problem. Then anyone at home can either get your attention or start addressing the issue at hand themselves immediately, which can make a massive difference if something is going south fast. I will say it is definitely an accessory I would reserve for catastrophic events. I personally wouldn't want an alarm like this going off every time my ATO reservoir was empty because that would get annoying pretty dang quickly, which I guess is me admitting I always forget to top off my ATO reservoir. Oh well. That's, I guess, public knowledge now. <laughs> Some pretty good examples for utilizing this alarm are a return pump failure, a leak detector sensing water, 
major pH or alkalinity spikes, and major temperature spikes or swings. The six switch toggle box is a really convenient add-on for any reefers who don't always wanna to have to whip out a smart device to trigger an event with their controller or to turn a particular piece of equipment on or off and also don't wanna to have to otherwise unplug a piece of gear to turn it on or off. It provides two on-off toggle switches with safety covers and four momentary switches in the form of push buttons. I really enjoy the tactile experience of being able to walk up to a tank and just press a button or flip a switch whenever possible. Don't get me wrong, apps are great, but if I just wanna turn off my skimmer so I can empty the cup, flicking a switch is a lot faster and just way easier than logging into the app on my phone, finding the skimmer in the list of outlets and then sliding it over to the off position. This switch box just opens up a lot of possibilities, something as simple as triggering a change in your light or pump settings for a set period of time for something like photos. You could slow the pumps down and dim the lights. You could also shut down your protein skimmer for a set time so you can clean up the collection cup. The toggle switches are gonna be great for things like triggering an emergency shutdown that turns off all of the equipment without powering down the controller or peripherals. And you can also link it to the audio visual alarm so that if you leave it off for too long, that it'll go off to let you know you gotta flip that switch back over. You could also use it to turn on or off lighting like in your stand so you can see what you're doing while you're doing maintenance. You can even set the toggle switch to flip between two different pump schedules. Toggle up could be softies and LPS and toggle down could be SPS, which would be great for frag systems that don't always have the same corals in them. You could even use the switch to trigger vacation mode. So while it is say flipped in the up position, it'll set your feeder, an auto water change and other elements in your reef to better suit your absence. You can also use these controller accessories in conjunction with one another. For example, if you use one of the toggle switches as a way to shut down your return pump, skimmer and other gear during maintenance, you can then also use your audio visual alarm to make sure you remember to flip that toggle back when you're done your maintenance by setting setting the alarm to trip if the toggle isn't returned to the on position after a set period of time, like an hour or two. Which I would certainly do because I have an absolute terrible habit of getting distracted by anything and then walking away and forgetting all about what I was doing before. Which isn't good for reefing. As I'm sure many people have experienced, a good example is flooding your basement with RDI water. If you're not super savvy with writing your own custom code in Apex Fusion, all of the controller accessories come with a great set of instructions with examples to get you started. Plus, you can always reach out to the wealth of knowledgeable reefers at hashtag AskBRSTV on Facebook or the official Neptune Systems forums or even Randy's videos on getting the most out of your Apex. If these here controller accessories from Adaptive Reef match your tactile reefing mantra, you can go ahead and pick up a set for yourself by clicking right here.